I can't believe it. No, we're not in Memphis, Tennessee. We're in the middle of London and they're having an Elvis Presley exhibition. I can't believe it. I had to come all the way from America to Germany to England to actually see 450 different items Elvis Presley displayed at his house in Graceland. Some of them, they were in the vault. We haven't seen yet. So I went to Bad Nauheim. I stayed in his uh, place where he was living for a while. I saw his house in Germany. I saw the house in Bel Air. I saw the house in Beverly Hills. I can't believe it. How lucky am I that we can go to this exhibition today? Let's go check it out. Entrance this way. Man, I can't believe it. Direct from Graceland. Exhibition opens October 2023. Step inside the legacy. Let's do it. They got some headphones and they explain what you see here. Wow, wow, wow. We all know the first family photo with his dad, Vernon and Gladys from 1938. If there will be a scale right now from one to a thousand, this is all the way to the top. This is absolutely incredible. Super nervous right now. Elvis Presley's gold plated phone that was right in his bedroom in Graceland. I can't believe the king of rock and roll touched the phone right here. It's kind of like used a little bit, but still looking good. His karate cologne, his skincare, and then we got his shaver and his comb for his beautiful hair. I always felt that someday, somehow, something would happen to change everything for me. And I daydream about how it would be, Elvis. Photo album of his younger years, growing up poor. We're going to see a lot of personal possessions in this exhibition and a lot of really unique pieces. There's over 1.5 million items in Elvis Presley's collection and there's only 10% of it displayed at Graceland and right here in London. So there's way more stuff we even haven't seen yet. This is Elvis' mom's Gladys velvet dress she was wearing 1956 at the Tupelo concert and then you see a purse with poodles on it and then of course the golden necklace this is a replica of Elvis's birth house in Tupelo his dad Vernon built it a two-room house Memphis City Schools diploma Elvis Aaron Presley just imagine how proud he was when he held this diploma here. And now we're just looking at it. His Crayola crayons he used when he was a kid. Nice. Elvis' dad's working pants from the 1940s and 50s. He used those on different jobs. His mom's social security card. The King's Holy Bible. RCA Victor Golden Record for selling over 1 million records. That's all right, Mama. Recorded this at the Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee. I don't care if the sun don't shine. I care. Different Elvis Presley memorabilia. We got a game. We got a hat. We got a book some kind of patches, record player, Elvis statues, and a doll, and of course Elvis Presley's shoes.
You said you were high class. The guitar you see here, this is actually a key to the city Tupelo. Elvis was wearing those white leather shoes for his homecoming to Tupelo. There's a video of it too. Well, since my baby left me, Colonel Parker used this leather case for years, his belt buckle. Look at all those treasures, they're unbelievable. I like when they show home videos from Graceland with Priscilla and Lisa Marie. Handcarved signs of all the names the horses at Graceland, Ebony's Double Rising Sun and Lisa's Pony. This is a $3,000 shack for the perfect golden palomino horse, the rising sun. Elvis Presley's leather saddle and leather chaps. Love me tender, but don't touch. Elvis tricycle and snowmobile. I can't believe it's orange. Maybe you can see it better in the white snow. Elvis's Ferrari Dino 38 GT4. That was the first road car they had. In 1976, he paid $20,583. Elvis and Priscilla at the honeymoon house in Palm Springs, showing off their wedding rings. Original Elvis's jewelry box from Graceland's bedroom. And here's a Rolex that was gifted to him in 1970. Got a little damage there, I think. The original mailbox from Graceland with fan letters in there. Nice. Once again, Elvis's tricycle. The black Dino Ferrari was driving up and down Elvis Presley Boulevard in front of Graceland. I was in Graceland maybe 25 years ago, right here. And I can't wait to go back and do another vlog about all the stuff at Graceland. It's amazing to look at all those pictures blown up big like this. It, it's totally different than looking at them really small. Lisa Marie Presley's footprints when she was born. Lisa's baby clothing, like a jacket, shoes. And little dresses. And the photo album. A fan gifted Elvis this bus and he had it in his living room. The nose is broken. This is insane, man. Elvis's duffel bag. And his military helmet. Elvis Presley. 20 Kugelschreiber, verschiedene Preise. The 
his hat and his suitcase. And I believe those are military uniforms. This Jesus statue was in Elvis's bedroom and as soon as this is over the exhibition is going to be right back in his bedroom. His collection of unique clothing items, a little bit weird looking, but back then you're the man when you wear stuff like this. Look at this psychedelic shirt. This wooden table is from his jungle room in Graceland. When you walk around in the exhibit, you listen to Elvis's songs, but I cannot play those because of copyright issues, so that's why I have the piano music in the background. But believe me, if you're there and you listen to Elvis' song, you're in a really good mood. Elvis belonged to the Memphis Police Department and this was his badge. There's a picture online where he's wearing the hat and the jacket. Sometimes Elvis put this police light on his car and pulled people over but instead of giving him a ticket he gave him a signature. The record player from his bedroom still has the record on it he played last. You look at all those clothes they displayed here. It's hard to imagine that he was wearing every single one of them, walking around with it. And we're just looking at it right now. It's unbelievable. His Kempo Karate G. And the football uniform. He was wearing his Elvis Presley Enterprise. Because I love you too much, baby. The tiger eye ring. And the orange opal ring. Wow, this is incredible. His wallet with a picture of his daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, and his credit cards are in there too. The Lion Claw necklace with EP on top of it. That's what you need, the original keys from Graceland. Lisa Marie was wearing this red dress at the candlelight vigil in Graceland 2017. Oh, oh, I'm all shook up. Viva Las Vegas. Look at all those jumpsuits here. Wow. Oh my goodness. Elvis was wearing this leather wristband doing the filming in 1968. That's when I was born. The NBC TV special. Wow, they still have all this.
they have a VIP tour and they give you the opportunity for 125 pounds you get to hold one of Elvis Presley's item you get to hold the belt and you get to hold the microphone and you can tell how excited those people are to hold Elvis Presley's belt you have to wear some gloves though but how cool is this look how happy those people are And while you're holding the belt, they actually take a picture of you as a souvenir, which is pretty cool, I think. Elvis received this belt in 1969 from the International Hotel in Las Vegas for selling out 52 straight shows. It's made out of sterling silver and he was wearing it when he met President Nixon. With the VIP tour, you also get to hold this microphone here. It is really special to see all those jumpsuits, especially the tiger one here. This is absolutely incredible. This is the jumpsuit Elvis was wearing in January 14, 1973 when he was doing the concert Aloha from Hawaii. Look how elaborate everything looks, the belt, the outfit. It was shown in over 40 different countries. Elvis always liked to wear jumpsuits because he could move in them much better. What happened is he was wearing a big cape, this one with the eagle on, and during the show he decided to throw this cape into the audience. And one guy caught it and had it for years. At one time, the guy became sick and he decided that the cape has to go back to his original owner, Elvis, but now it's actually Elvis Enterprise. So he returned the cape to the Elvis Presley collection. So now we're here and can enjoy it. Elvis was known for throwing scars or giving away scars with his sweat onto the audience. Here you see one lucky lady. It's hard to decide which one I like better, this suit with the white cape or do I like the golden suit better that was made by Nudie Cohen. He was actually living at the time in North Hollywood. He made this suit for Elvis Presley. I mean, this is such an iconic suit. was on the album cover 50 million Elvis fans can't be wrong just imagine how shiny it looks when the light hits the little diamonds This is a crown some fan gave Elvis at the concert Aloha from Hawaii. Look at all the jumpsuits. They're so close, but you can't touch them. So 
shows all the different materials that they used to make Elvis Presley's outfits. All the posters from his movies all lined up on the wall. The boxing pants from Kit Galahad. This was Elvis's car, a 1960 MGA 1600 MK. This was the only car that was in Elvis' personal possession that actually made it into the movies. And it was in the movie 1961, Blue Hawaii. Nice, an old black and yellow California license plate. I love matching up those pictures. Imagine he was sitting in there. The older you get, the more you appreciate stuff like this. When I was young and I was in Florida, I've seen his Harley Davidson, I saw some of his cars, but now that I'm older, I look at the car and I really appreciate all that stuff. I can't explain it, but when you get older, you know what I mean. He was wearing that suit in Viva Las Vegas. He has the holes in there. I remember when I was in Memphis outside Graceland, there's a big wall and lots of people wrote their name on there, do like a little drawing. And that reminded me of it. Same thing here. The whole wall is covered with Elvis fans writing little notes. And that puts a tear in my eye when you see this. Thank you for reaching the 75 million record sales. Elvis is still in the building. On a hunk of hunk of burning love. Never before displayed. This is Austin Butler's outfit he was wearing in the movie Elvis. I think all his three suits on the left he was wearing in the movie. I just listened to Britney Spears' book. What a life she had. Lots of problems. We always think life is so easy when you're famous, but it's not. A lot of problems. 
I think he did an incredible job playing Elvis Presley. Hopefully this exhibition goes all around the world, not only London. I wish it goes to Germany, Spain, even the United States, to Los Angeles or wherever. I'm glad that people get to see his stuff. Just seeing this was worth coming here already. There's nothing better than this. Maybe Graceland, for sure Graceland. I tried to go outside three times already, but I always came back and I said, maybe I forgot to film something. I don't want to leave, I want to stay here. This is insane, insane in the membrane. Don't forget to take care of business, TCB. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the Elvis Presley exhibition in London. It was absolutely amazing. I can't wait to go back to Graceland and film everything else there. I've been there before, but uh, I know this one was displayed before in Graceland, but seeing it here is unbelievable, especially when I know where he was wearing the suit. Anyway, if you happen to like this video, maybe you want to give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to the German in Venice. Man, I just want to walk around here more. It's not that busy right now, and I actually have time to look at all the different items here, especially this one, Aloha from Hawaii. Thank you very much. German in Venice has left the building.